Hey there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to the farm. It's another wonderful, beautiful day with broken down equipment here on the Stony Ridge Farm. So today I have a fuel issue with the John Deere 5065. I have had lack of power. I have been billowing white smoke and it only happens after about 20 minutes of use with the tractor. And what I'm thinking it is, is a bad fuel issue. Either it has some slime in the fuel tank or some trash in the fuel tank or algae in the fuel tank. I've already drained all the old fuel out of this tank and put new fuel back in it and I'm having the same issue. Now there's a tiny inline filter in here. We're going to pull it apart. We're going to get this stuff apart, show you the mess that's inside of it hopefully take care of this problem so we can get back to drilling down grain on the farm here. So we've got a lot of fescue grass seed, some clover to drill. We've got all our pastures to drill. I have a rental drill sitting up in the field right now and I can't use it. So come along today as I hopefully solve the fuel problem that we're having with the John Deere 5065. And we'll have a little bit of fun here on the farm. All right, woo! So first of all guys, if this is your first time to the Stony Ridge Farm, welcome to the channel. Please don't forget to pound that like button, subscribe to the channel, and punch that little bell down there. It'll notify you when I post a new video here on the farm. Lots of stuff going on. We've got auto restorations. We're going to SEMA in a few weeks. Old tractors, all kinds of fun stuff. If you just look around here. <laughs> We've got a lot of fun stuff. We're on a 200 acre farm here in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains in North Carolina. This is Earl the tractor. Earl is getting fixed. We pulled him out of a brush pile. That's the 240. And this is our John Deere 5065E. It's been a great tractor up until this point. It's got about 700 hours on it. I think it's a 2013 model. And we've got a fuel issue. We've got some sort of loss of fuel uh, going into the fuel pump into the injection pump so it's causing me to billow white smoke there's no water in this fuel that i know of i've already drained the tank one time and i put five gallons of fresh fuel in it and i'm still having the issue there's a little inline filter where the fuel outlet valve comes out and goes into the engine so that's what we're going to address today we're going to drain the fuel out and we're going to pull out that little filter and see if it's clogged up with grossness all right so right in here is what we're looking at this is the little bug that we're trying to fix it's this valve right here and that valve has to come off so we'll disconnect the fuel lines and we'll unscrew that valve it's gonna drip fuel and we've got a bucket that'll go up underneath normally I keep all my tractors slapped full of fuel but I'm really happy I didn't have this one all the way full because we drained out about seven gallons yesterday and we're gonna have to drain out probably four and a half gallons today I've got new fuel to put in it and hopefully it's only this little clogged filter so let's show you how we do it. This is the fuel tank on the 5065. This is the fuel filler. And what I noticed on my gas cap, it has a tether, a chain tethered to it. And that was really shiny, not too long ago. So in other words, something moisture has got in here and somehow is causing me a problem. And you can see the crusty nastiness right there. So my thought is that there is a problem with fuel delivery. We've also already replaced our fuel filter right here and we don't have any water in that fuel filter I know for sure. So when you're having a problem like this with fuel delivery or your tractor's bogging down and you can't quite figure it out this tractor should be just fine there shouldn't be any head gasket issues or anything it's got 700 hours on it. I called my local John Deere place and I called a couple other shops and I asked them if they'd had any fuel issues lately and they said yes we've had a rash of fuel issues lately so one of the gas stations around here that we buy our fuel that all the local guys buy our off-road diesel has a problem we've got to call those gas stations when we get done here and ask them if they've had any problems reported to them because my stepdad is having this trouble I'm having this trouble and I can imagine that a lot of other local farmers here are having the same trouble with this off-road diesel Let's get busy. Big shout out to Northern Tool and Hydraulic. We've got a new clutch uh, socket set right here. Awesome tool set. We'll be doing a Tool Tuesday review on this socket set, but if we need sockets, we got them right here. Big shout out to Northern Tool, Northern Hydraulic. We shop there all the time. And those guys reached out to us and gave us a great deal on this tool kit so we could show you. And we're actually gonna give one away soon. So this is really tight quarters in here. It's really hard to film, but I've got a GoPro set up right here so we can show you guys when we disconnect this valve. And then we'll pull out that filter and show you. All right, get in here with a screwdriver, loosen up this hose clamp, slide that guy down, and we're gonna start leaking fuel as soon as I pull this off. So 
what I need to do is have a bucket up underneath here. And so you guys know I have a white bucket. I've just cleaned this bucket out and wiped it out really, really good so I can see if there's any trash that falls down into the bucket. That'll give me a definite direction to head, whether it's a bad fuel issue or whether it's an injection pump issue or what the heck it could be. Oh yeah, it's definitely a clogged up filter. I'm barely getting any dribble out of here. Let me show you. I'll grab the camera and bring it around. So my suspicions are correct. If you look down here, that should be just pouring fuel out of that valve right there. It, it should totally be pouring fuel out and it's just barely dribbling out into the bucket. So it's clogged up I'm going in the bucket right down there. Pull this hose clamp down. I hope. Come on out there, little buddy. Fairly tight quarters in here. There we go. Okay. Now this guy should just twist right out. I'm not planning on reusing this fuel, just so you know. This is not going to be a, a reused fuel. We'll use it to start fires here on the farm. Oh, baby. Got it. That's it. A bunch of yick on there. So this little filter only has flow right there. That's it. And I can clean this with brake cleaner so the guys have told me so we're going to spray some brake cleaner down in this fuel is draining out right now if i loosen the fuel cap the fuel comes out a whole lot faster hate to waste that much diesel fuel it's kind of a bummer this is the second time i've wasted this much diesel fuel so this is going to be your before picture and again this is the valve that just comes right out of the uh, fuel tank there and this little filter just presses in into place so that's it. We're going to hit it with some brake parts cleaner, non-chlorinated. That piece is pretty good. This is going to be... Oh yeah. Now I wouldn't be spraying this with brake cleaner had I not already spoken to the John Deere guys. And they told me it was okay to clean with brake cleaner. I'm also inclined to put an inline filter on this to avoid this problem in the future. Whee! Man, that's some nasty, nasty, ooky gooky stuff. Really need to replace this filter. I'll go ahead and get one from the John Deere place, but I don't have it right now. I've just got to get busy uh, working on the uh, grain drill. The guy that I rented the grain drill from has called me already today like hey you done yet buddy no i'm not so all right let's replace this get it back in place fuel line here Whoop. wrong step there we go All right, we're going to take you off tripod here and we're going to show you what the fuel look like. There's a little bit of trash in there, but I think most of that trash probably came right out of the bottom of the tank. I'm not so sure that I have an algae problem. I'll tell you something that happened probably about six months ago. I filled the tractor up and I left the cap off of the fuel tank on this tractor and this may be the total cause of all this however my stepdad is having the same issue with a massey ferguson tractor of his and with a uh, new holland tractor so this was in the shed i left the cap off overnight i'm not so sure that trash got in it from that i think we've got a algae issue from fuel from a common source here in the local county let me show you what this looks like and it's just got a little trash down in it hard to see down in that bucket but you can see all right you see that little bit of trash down in there that's what came out of the bottom of the fuel tank so we're going to put fuel back in this tractor we're going to get back to work and i'll let you know if this is the solution to the problem uh, i don't know if any of you guys have ever had an issue like this we changed the fuel filter we changed the air filter 
everything that we could possibly do we drained the fuel tank but the source was that little filter in line inside the tank so i didn't know if everybody knew these 50 65 50 55 and i think a 50 45 and a 50 75 i think all have a similar fuel system so hopefully this helps you if you're having power issues with your john deere tractor all right, we're gonna put some fuel in it. I'm gonna run it and I'll let you know if it worked. Contact John Deere 5065E. So she started up, she's purring like a kitten. That first white smoke that we got was a pretty common smoke that this tractor does when I first fired up. So not really concerned there. I am concerned about an air bubble that may be in the fuel line because I disconnected it. So if it starts to sputter, I'm going to pump the prime really quickly. All right, cool. No sputter. Awesome. Maybe we can get back to work, man. When your tractor's down, that's why you need two tractors on the farm. In case one gets stuck or one goes down. When your tractor's down, you're at a work stoppage. And it seems that a tractor will always break down when you need it the most kind of a bummer we'll keep an eye on this we know if this works that we may have to clean that little filter a couple more times we may have to remove that fuel tank and take it to a radiator shop and have them clean it out really good too let's get busy working it worked <laughs> awesome so we're back down here loading up with seed i've been running for about two and a half hours and no problems since so that was the issue man uh what a tough learn what a what a tough thing to learn uh it seems like when something breaks down it always breaks down right when you need it the most so guys i hope this helped you a little bit if you have a fuel problem with your tractor check your filters check all your filters get online do a little bit of research and learn about your tractor thank goodness i did and thank goodness i called all the local service shops and found out that there's some bad fuel out here so i'm probably going to have to take the tank off at some point take it down have it cleaned out and that way we don't have this issue again we've got good filters in line now everything's good to go and i'm going to keep on drilling you see that storm clouds are looming it's supposed to start raining this afternoon I've got about 50 more acres to drill, and I've drilled about 25 acres. It's been a chore. Guys, thanks a lot for joining me here on the Stony Ridge. I appreciate you. Please pound that like button on your way out the door. Subscribe to the channel and follow us over on Facebook. You'll find a little bit more information, some extra pictures and stuff like that, over on Facebook and Instagram. All right, see you next time on the Stony Ridge. We'll come Woo! down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life here in